I don't own Total Drama. This is just insp inspired by it. And Survivor, kind of. I, I don't want to cause any copyright issues. Just This is a fan project. If you want to see something better than this, go watch the original Total Drama. Thank you. Last time on Ancient Ruins, the teams played Among Us. Eric, Zach, Anne, and Malcolm were imposters while the rest were crewmates. Secretary Squirrels won again. And Business Bears sent Jenny home because of a few of Zach's lies. 13 remain, but only one can win. And you'll find out who, won't it, in this episode of Ancient Ruins. Guys, our alliance isn't going as planned. We must stick together if we want to win. You are so right, Humphrey. Just it's so difficult when we have many, many incompetent people on our team. No one's incompetent, just we have issues between us and we need to resolve them. I feel like I'm in a bad position at the moment, but also good. There's loads of drama on the team, but I'm not really involved in it. This is so good. Zach is so going home this episode. Yep, totally. You know, you're the bestest friend I've ever had. Aw, same. What are you going on about? Basically, Zach from the other team tried to kill Jenny. I saw it. It was amazing. Fair enough. I see Eric not as a friend, but as a pawn. He will help me throughout the game, but when the time comes, I'll be sure to get rid of him. Malcolm has been my only real friend in life. No one liked me in school, until Trixie came up to me when I was alone, and then that happened. My parents said I, sadly said I couldn't be with her, and she was below me. Trust me, I could not fight my parents. Campers, come to your next challenge! This is a Russian roulette challenge. With guns? No. For example, the first game is on a plane. There's 12 bags with a parachute, but one without. Don't worry, you'll land in the lake. So let's go! This is a stupid challenge. It's all based on luck. Not really. We could do some manipulation. Not you manipulating again. Of course I am. Hey Matilda, I found this bag with a parachute in it. You seem in danger on your team. You should have it. Really? But you'll have more of a chance of getting the one without a parachute. Oh well, I need Ben gone anyway. Okay then, thank you so much. Ah! <laughs> That's what you get for betraying Arnold. I mean, oh, Eric, you're so mean. Why did you do that? Huh, I'm liking you. Team up for the merge? Of course. Twelve of you remain. Matilda is out of the game. That was all because of Eric. You have twelve rivers. One leads to a hole. That means you're out. And what's the... Stopping multiple people taking the same river. A gate. Fair enough. So go. Hey, Eric. Do you know which route is the hole? No. Why? I need to talk to Matilda. Strategy? Yep. I'm doing geography in school. The route is probably route two. And how do you know that? The shape of land. Thanks, kid. Ben's foolish attempts would stop him from just getting a good elimination. Those st two strategic weasels are planning something. That is true. We must stop them. And Malcolm is out. He's at the bottom of the hole. And I'm loving it. 
there are now 11 pits, you will dig to the bottom. Afterwards, if there's a chest at the bottom, you stay. If you don't, you are out. Now go. If Eric's going to try the strategic route, I'm going to counter him. And I'll lift you down the hole and you'll see whether there's a chest or not. Great plan. There's none in mine. Okay. Hey, Eric, catch. Quickly, Anne. Yes, I got the chest. What earth, Anne? When did you come like this? I've always been. Hey, Matilda, not in a good position, are you? No. Why? I have some news that will change your gameplay 180 degrees. Eric is out. But she cheated. Time to get some revenge. Next challenge is go to a door. There are identical keys in the chest. Each ten of you will step into one of these alleyways. The alleyway that doesn't have a door is the losing one. Just use your key on the door beneath you and that will transport you to the losing area. So go. And don't go in there. Malcolm found out last night a setup for the challenge. Use my door. Thank you so much, Draco. I could see down the alleyway. She's gone. Oh, come on, Draco. Well, let's use this key to go down. Luckily, the game's not over yet. I could tell a few lies. You are in the final nine in the game. You will run to the caves on this route. One route doesn't lead to the ladder. Hey, guys. Malcolm and Eric, I need to tell you something. Hi, Anne. Tell us. Basically, Draco wants to eliminate Malcolm. Common knowledge. Luckily, we have a plan. And Brittany is cheating on you with him. And Ben? Ben? He's made an alliance with Bessie, Ellie and Humphrey. To vote off Eric in the merge. And Bessie, she got given the real immunity totem by Juliet to vote one of you. Thank you, Anne. I will keep that in mind. That was so fake. I know that I have an immunity totem given to me by Juliet. How dare you get rid of Anne? It's about time, but at least I made it. I haven't. I bet that has something to do with you too. Not that time. Next round, you'll climb these ladders and you reach the next floor. There's eight ladders, seven are solid, one break, so go. I need a way to get Draco out. I heard that, Juliet, I'm very technically advanced. This is the wrong ladder. Every other one is really good. Thanks, Ben, but I'd like to choose the wrong one. What? Oh, come on. You can't fool the smartest. Great, I'm out. I'm very lucky to have you, Malcolm. What do you mean? You're my only real friend. My parents just scared the others off. Oh. Oh, how so? I made a friend. They didn't improve because I only attended a middle class school because upper classes are too far away. I argued. They said they'd buy me something. Recycle. When I met Trixie, I left her a lot. I argued with my parents a lot and I just decided I didn't care what they thought. We were going to have a baby. I was really, really excited. I didn't want to be like my parents and I had the power to render a little guy or girl's childhood. It felt amazing. I told my parents. They forced me to leave Trixie or I'd be locked in their basement. That's not good. Two months before I came here, I heard them disgusting debt. They spent too much money on buying me products to keep me away from the poor people. They had loads of money, but they are money-hungry rankers. I pleaded them not to make me work with them, so I auditioned for the show. The reason why I auditioned was not just to pay rent, it was just to get away from my parents, to finally make friends. Your parents sound terrible. They got themselves in that position due to their stupid standards. Why should you be punished for, because of that? You know, I haven't thought about it like that. Thanks, Malcolm. You know, if I win the million, I'll spend that money on charity to the poor. I will donate to Trixie. I should have stood up my for myself. Thank you so much. That's amazing you feel that way. I wish I could stand up to my dad. I don't really care for Eric's sad Batman style. Backstory, then again, I feel bad due to my own experiences. For the seventh round, we have seven boats. 
one of ones that's made of wheat material so uh, that are strong. So go. I should know this. I'm really good with woodwork. You should get Juliet out. Which one's the wrong one? That one. Hey Zach, get in this one. Bessie just said that one's faulty. Well, you want to win, so okay. Oh come on! Zach is out and we're left with six. You will team up with a member from opposing team. One if you fire at the apple blindfold. However, but one of the bows are faulty. The other member will tell them where to aim. Last one to knock the apple down results in both of the elimination of them and their teammate. Draco, Juliet, Brittany, Bentley, Bessie, Trixie, Business Bears, Fire, and Secretary Squirrels direct to go. Try to fire there. Oh, missed. Okay, over there. No. What's up? Oh, we have the faulty bow. I have an idea. Great idea. Why is... Juliet pointing at our bow. I think I know what the weasel is trying to do. Ellie, quick! Uh, what do I do now? Grab a rock and fire at the apple, now! I think I got it! Yes, we're safe. Juliet, get me a rock! Haha, -ha, fire! Got it! Ellie and Britt are, are out. The apples have been broken. Now there are four coins. Take one each. If yours says finale, you're in. We're both in! Yay! Unlucky for you, this challenge is hard. What's your definition of hard again? You two are in fire safety suits. The fire won't harm you. Good. There is a fire at officers' ends of the room that are extinguishers. One is full, one is nearly empty. Your job is to put out the fire. First one to do so wins it for their team, so go. I can't see. There are too many flames. Go low. Hang on. Why are you helping me? Listen, I don't want us to die. Fair point. Can you see any extinguisher? Not yet. Ouch. What just happened? You okay? No. My, my suit. Hmm, what's wrong with it? It's... <coughs> Gun. <coughs> oh shit, that's not good. Listen, I'm gonna get you out of here as soon as possible, okay? Yeah. <coughs> Are you safe here? I think <coughs> so. Maybe this challenge went too far. Hopefully, maybe we'll escort her into the medical room. Okay, time to out this out. Yes! Dude, that was amazing! And Draco wins us it for Secretary Squirrels Business Bears. I'll see you tonight. Jim, can we talk? Of course. <sighs> well, I'm due to, well... Okay. And I'm staying here. I have nowhere else to go. Okay, that's fine. For the procedure, I'm medically trained. I used to be a doctor. Will you still compete for the million or just stay on campgrounds? The million. Okay then. Starting from tonight, you and another camper can sleep in a lodge in the woods. And I will hire a babysitter for your child. Thanks, Jim. I can't believe it. That was traumatising. Hey, Humphrey. For tonight, we're sleeping in a lodge in the woods for the baby. Cool. Hey, Juliet. How are you? I think I'm recovered, but... Thank you. You saved my life back there. No worries. But why? You remind me of my grandma. She loved books. She was really smart. But she died a few years ago in a fire. I didn't want the same to happen to you. Hank, that fire was traumatizing. I hated it and I'm asthmatic. So that doesn't make it any better. True. Anyway, Malcolm wants to give you this. Oh, cool. Please dispose of this. Okay. Anyways, I better go to the elimination ceremony. It's time. Good luck. Well, losers, you are losing your fifth member in a row. So, wait. Huh? What's up? 
I need to tell Trixie something. Tell me. Basically, Ellie has a crush on Humphrey. Yeah? Anything else, Matilda? I will get these gullible assholes into a lot of trouble with each other. And for all of you, Trixie is pregnant. Matilda? Oh, and it doesn't end uh, right there. The father is Eric, and they have an alliance. No, I don't. Vote her off. And Anne said Ellie said that she wants Trixie gone and she has the immunity totem gone to get rid of her tonight. Okay, okay, can we get to voting? Oh no, we cannot. And Zach, he apparently wants to vote out oh, Humphrey for being a two-faced backstabbing rat. He did nothing to help. Oh yeah, tonight Zach is going to shoot you all. And Anne was making fun of Juliet. Is this true? I never said any of this. Oh, look, Malcolm and Eric. Come over here. Yeah? Did I say about Ellie wanting Trixie gone? Did I say about Zach's plan? And did I make fun of Juliet? No, she didn't. Whoever said this, that's baloney. Can we vote, please? Yes. Jim, we may. After yesterday, I expected more of you. Anne. I know what Malcolm did was still part of some strategy. I have received the votes. The first vote is for... Matilda. Anne! Trixie. Juliet. That's one vote for Trixie. Anne. Juliet and Matilda. Anne. Matilda. And the final vote goes to... Matilda. Well, good luck winning challenges with your weak team. Hey, thanks for that, guys. No worries, we need you anyway. Twelve remain, ten are down. Will the business's bears losing streak end soon? Will anyone find out about Zack Stark's secret? Find out next time on Ancient Ruins.